uh, from Sky Nine. Des, this is an armed robbery suspect, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. We're on the northbound 710 right now, coming through Bell Gardens, headed towards Vernon. You see the suspect, or possibly multiple suspects, inside of this vehicle right here. Not afraid to go over towards the right-hand shoulder, or the left-hand shoulder, the, the center divider, I should say. Now up to about 90 miles an hour. You see L.A. County Sheriff's right there. I believe it's LAPD's helicopter uh, that is over uh, overhead. It is sheriff's? Okay, it, excuse me, it is the sheriff's helicopter overhead. But northbound on the 710 here aren't robbery suspects, so obviously worried about, you know, the, these suspects having weapons. And considering the charges here, hard for me to believe that sheriffs are going to let this one go, Jeff and Susie. Desmond, any uh, other information about the actual uh, robbery itself, where it happened? No, we haven't uh, heard any of that, but they, they must be aware of this vehicle. Mm -hmm. Must have, have This vehicle must have been seen fleeing fleeing some scene, uh, and they were able to take down a license plate, is my guess, of how they've been able to acquire this vehicle. Mm. And uh, so they had gone into surveillance mode, but with sheriffs, it's, it's kind of interesting. They call it surveillance mode, but you see just how close back that deputy is, and they still have the spotlight on the suspect as well. So, you know, from it, it certainly looks like they are actively pursuing uh, the suspects here. But uh, we just heard about this here moments ago coming northbound on the 710. Mm -hmm. So they found the vehicle somewhere south of the 105. And uh, now here we go, northbound, and we'll be up at the uh, 5 Freeway pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, okay, now I'm hearing Jeff and Susie that uh, this started in El Monte. Go ahead. Oh, okay, started in El Monte. Of course, the two things to remember here, we got multiple suspects. This is an armed robbery suspect inside the vehicle, so we know there is a weapon involved. Obviously, Susan, when it comes to this, we don't know who has the weapon, if one has the weapon, sure. if they all have a weapon, but there's a number of people inside this vehicle uh, wanted for armed robbery, and of course, that brings an element of uh, danger to this pursuit as it looks like he's getting off of an on-ramp okay. here, off, off the highway. This is the northbound 710. What's this exit, Des? It uh, looks like we are going on to the northbound five. This is that weird exit where you uh, go, uh, you enter, you make the transition on the left side of the roadway. And we are getting a, a few more details on this one. The, the armed robbery was reported out of El Monte. And then when they ran this plate, apparently it came back with a felony want attached. So these are the preliminary details that we're getting right now. But the armed robbery took place with a handgun. So... Uh, that is very stressful for officers yeah. uh, believing that, you know, very, very high likelihood that there is a gun in the car. Well, ahead, obviously, sir. you know, they saw the danger in this and obviously they wanted to stop putting pressure on this driver. And as Desmond was talking about, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department went into this mode of surveillance mode, as we call it, where they follow from a distance. They still have their ground units, their black and whites on the ground, but they also have that arrow chopper. Uh, the LA County Sheriff's Department chopper overhead still, but at a higher elevation, that's what they do. So they want to put some pressure off this person because when they're chasing, obviously, so close to this person, they might try to speed up even more. And we know that they're armed. They're definitely recognizing the danger of this possibility of what could happen. Even when they make the stop, Jeff, uh, this turns into a dangerous situation because of the fact that we know that at least one person or possibly all the people inside this car. We don't know how many occupants are inside this car right now, but they could all be armed, as you were talking about. Yeah, and that's going to require a number of police officers, several cruisers, to uh, stop this pursuit, mm -hmm. obviously, because if there's multiple people inside, we've seen this time and time again, they may stop and let some people out. Mm -hmm. You don't know how many people there have weapons. Uh, this is going to be something that requires, it seems to be kind of uh, threading the needle here between yeah, uh, this uh, northbound five and now to an off-ramp, U.S. 101 northbound, it looks like, is what he's getting onto now. Where are we, Des? Yeah, we just came out of the Eastdale interchange right there where the 101, the 5, and the okay. 10 all meet. They decided it looked like he was going to go on the northbound 5, then went to the northbound 101. And we just learned a few more details as well. Apparently, sheriff's deputies were trying to pull this vehicle over for reckless driving. After they got the license plate number, that's when they found out that there was a felony want armed robbery attached to the plate of this vehicle. So that's what actually spurred all this. If this person was just driving, you know, pretty crazy, mm -hmm. sheriffs didn't like that. They tried to pull him over, then learned about the robbery after the fact. So knowing that now, I mean, we, we might say that there's a 50-50 chance mm -hmm. uh, that there's a, a gun in the car. Obviously still too high uh, probability for deputies to take any big risks on. 
Yeah, that's true. If you're just joining us here on KCAL 9 News at 8, this is breaking news. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department pursuing the driver of this car, which we believe uh, inside is an armed robbery suspect. Uh, that armed robbery, we do believe that it took place before today, obviously, because there was a warrant out for this person, a felony warrant out. Um, and that, as Desmond was just talking about, was just learned when the Sheriff's Department ran the plate after wanting to pull them over for reckless driving. So certainly uh, very many different factors in play here. Uh, this is all starting in El Monte. Uh, we believe this is uh, all started with the reckless driver. And, you know, when we're talking about just a reckless driver, you know, you think, again, pull over. But this person knew, hey, I have something else out on my record. So obviously they're going to take off. Um, got a lot of things going on here. Sure, exactly. Now, this is definitely an exit. There's mm -hmm. one cruiser behind him. So pick it up here, Des, going pretty fast on to... Oh, yeah. I guess this is another highway. What is this here? Yeah, yeah, this is the uh, eastbound 10. There's that one lane ramp from the North 101 to the East 10. So the 10 San Bernardino Freeway. So that's where we are right now. It was looking like they were going to head towards downtown. And then, you know, I was wondering if they were going to try to ditch the vehicle in a parking structure or a tunnel. But now they're going East 10. So now we're headed to El Monte. That's where that armed robbery was first reported. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we'll see if, if that comes into play once we, if we do make it to El Monte, but we're still on the freeway now, eastbound 10. So as far as we know, we've been on the freeway now uh, the entire time. They've got the, they got the, the, the spotlight overhead uh, really, you know, really quickly, which is great for, for sheriffs. And now we're hearing that at some point, I haven't seen this yet, but that the suspect may have been tossing papers out the window. So uh, who knows what that is, why... If, there's some, you know, criminalizing papers or something that this person has. Who knows? But uh, they obviously know that uh, they're going to jail when this ends. And so uh, they don't show any signs of giving this one up. Yeah, and so many different uh, charges that they're racking up here, Susie. They may be in jail for a long time. Armed robbery suspect. We also understand a felony warrant attached to that plate of that vehicle. And we also mentioned a reckless driving earlier, which may have alerted police to this. This all started in El Monte. Uh, the sheriff's department is behind this suspected driver and the LAPD chopper is overhead. And as you can see, the ground units there on the ground following pretty closely. But at one point, this was actually in surveillance mode where the chopper arrow stays above the LA County Sheriff's Department helicopter is called arrow. And arrow will actually stay above and stay higher at a higher level. And the ground units will just sort of back off a little bit, putting less pressure on the person. But right now they're following pretty closely behind them, aren't they, Desmond? Yeah, they, they have been, even mm -hmm. though they said that they were in surveillance mm -hmm. mode or what LAPD calls tracking mode, but surveillance mode with the sheriffs. Now, they are apparently trying to get CHP into place with this one, and we know that when it comes to CHP, they, they're either pursuing or they're not. So mm -hmm. we'll see what happens uh, if they're able to come into play on this one. Eastbound 10 coming up on the 710. Uh, so let's see, looking like we're going to keep with the eastbound 10 and not circle back for the southbound 710. Unless they make a last second move, but no, they're continuing. So now we are making our way into the San Gabriel Valley, uh, into Alhambra, San Gabriel, Temple City, these these areas here. And uh, I believe, try to get the, the make and model. This is, I believe this is a Nissan, uh, maybe, a, yeah, may, maybe a Nissan Altima or, or, a, or a Nissan Maxima. Yeah, that was going to be my guess that it was a Nissan, Des. Uh, good uh, guess on that. As that is the... Uh, the vehicle in the center part of your screen, actually just going uh, just below posted speeds on the highway now of uh, eastbound 10. This is somebody wanted for armed robbery in El Monte. Sheriff's Department is behind this vehicle. We understand multiple people inside. This uh, vehicle was also, they ran the plate and they found out there was a felony warrant attached to that plate. And also at one point in time, Susie, they witnessed some reckless driving, uh, which we haven't really seen here since we've uh, gone on live with this. Uh, the driving has been maybe above the posted speed limits, but nothing really more, um, you know, advanced or deliberate sure. than that. Sure, absolutely. And, you know, we talk about uh, these pursuits. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department, their protocol is to have four units and then a supervising sergeant behind them. So we've been watching, obviously, uh, Desmond talk about how the L.A. County Sheriff's Department has stayed pretty closely behind this car, uh, despite the fact that they went into surveillance mode for a little bit even. And uh, as we can see there, the helicopter definitely following this one closely as well. Well, this one's weaving yeah. in uh, traffic, mm -hmm. no headlights whatsoever. Thankfully, everybody's going in the same direction as this is on the highway and not crossing 
crossing through intersections and whatnot. But uh, we always uh, get pretty curious about that. We see the drivers in these police pursuits that turn on and off the light like they're going to somehow disappear from law enforcement mm -hmm. or something. But we see this over and over and over again. You can see the night sun from uh, LAPD helicopter overhead as he's putting on his brakes. Almost wanted to look like there, Des, that he was going to take that exit. But uh, kind of hard to do from the almost left-hand sure. lanes. Going 90 miles an hour, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely a very common tactic uh, from from these suspects kind of doing that last second dodge like they're going to get off the freeway. Obviously, authorities totally privy to that. Now, you may have just seen CHP come into the shop briefly. They were just there uh, at the on ramp, I believe, at uh, Atlantic there. So they should be getting into place on this one. And then we'll see. Uh, yep, here they are right now. Uh, so here comes CHP into this and they are right behind the suspect. Yeah. And uh, so so our sheriff's deputies. So. Their helicopter will stay overhead for this. We'll see if the deputies on the ground back off. They're, they're definitely going to trail back at least a little bit. And uh, now it looks like CHP is on the lead uh, with this uh, armed robbery suspect. Well, if you're just joining us here on KCAL 9 News Today, we're coming up here on the 9 o'clock hour. We've been watching this pursuit for about uh, 20 minutes now. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department in pursuit of an armed robbery suspect and that was only found out after the fact that uh, they actually were trying to pull over a reckless driver. They found that out when they ran the plates and they realized, hey, we have something else here as well. So it's unclear if this person is armed. That's definitely one of the considerations they will have when they pull this over. When they pull this person over, looks like they're exiting the freeway possibly here, Desmond. Uh, let's see. Ah. There's a collector lane here, uh -huh. which allows uh, so they're actually continuing through. Yeah. So another like kind of fake out there. Looked like they were going to get off the freeway in Alhambra, but actually kept with it there, uh, with that what they call a collector lane, that kind of through lane on the far right. So uh, now you see two CHP uh, uh, cruisers in on this one, and again, you know, armed robbery suspects. I mean, we're, we're kind of in this era where so many pursuits are let go. If it's a, even if it's you know a stolen vehicle or if it was just a traffic violation. But now with a, a, a felony want here, armed robbery, this is the kind of pursuit that you know authorities are not going to let go. They're going to stick with this one. They realize how serious it is, and they need to get this person off the streets. Uh, it's just a matter of how long uh, this is going to go on. And, you know, of course, that's up to the suspect. And, Des, you know, when it comes to law enforcement agencies, some are quicker to, uh, you know, back off of a pursuit. But I've never really seen that when it comes to CHP. Have you? Uh, yeah, not really. The only time I ever see with CHP is if it's uh, something more minor and they get asked to take it over and then maybe when it gets off the freeway they just say, all right, well, that's, it's not our problem anymore. But this isn't one of those because, uh, again, of the want. Uh, now, we'll see now that they are, I say they were getting off on surface streets, maybe deputies will be the ones to re-engage. But just because they get off the freeway doesn't mean that by law CHP has to, you know, turn it back over. It, it's not like that. Uh, they, they do have jurisdiction if need be. So getting off the freeway and then making a, a turn here onto Walnut Grove, uh, let's see if they're just going to get right back on the freeway uh, or what. Uh, but now it looks like we are going to be headed northbound underneath the 10. CHP right there. We'll see. Maybe there will be a good opportunity for a pit, uh, perhaps. So we'll see if, yeah. uh, if that's in the offing. And that would be the first attempt that we see, the first time we're actually seeing this person driving on surface streets as far as we've been watching this. Is this another entrance onto a freeway, Desmond? Yeah, I, I think they are just getting right back yeah. on the, the westbound 10. Uh, unless they're going to, yeah. So, so now committing back to the westbound 10. Came uh, right into Alhambra here. Walnut Grove, and uh, here you go, and headed back towards uh, downtown Los Angeles. So, uh, this so far this is, has been a pretty aimless one. We, you know, we were we know the Omani connection. We were thinking maybe the suspect was headed there, but then they just exited before Omani and now headed back towards downtown LA. All right, Desmond Shaw. Uh, this is Juan Fernandez now, along with Pat Harvey, taking over for Susie Sa and Jeff Vaughn. KCAL 9 News at nine right now. Uh, we're watching this uh, pursuit of a uh, what we believe is an armed robbery suspect. Uh, going on right now in the San Gabriel uh, Valley there. Um, Desmond, uh, if people are just joining us, can you bring us up to date? What do we have here? So it all started with LA County Sheriff's deputies somewhere south of the 105 freeway, and uh, they were just trying to pull somebody over for reckless driving. They got up behind them. They got all the units in place ready to uh, try to pull them over. And then when they lit them up, they took off. So they ran that plate and discovered that there is a felony want attached to this uh, license plate number. 
and it is apparently an, an armed robbery out of the El Monte area. It's unclear when that happened, uh, but a handgun was used in that armed robbery. So obviously, uh, you know, high concern about there being a firearm in the vehicle. They're, they're just going to assume at this point that this suspect is armed. It's not clear how many people are in the car. Apparently two people were involved in the armed robbery, but again, that we're, it's unclear when that happened. So we were thinking there's multiple people in the car, but it may just be the suspect westbound on the 10 headed towards uh, downtown LA, Juana, Pat. All right, you know, what you said, uh, Desmond, that we, we saw him right before we uh, started the 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. hour actually exit the 10 freeway, the 10 east, but he only did it to get back on the freeway. Now he's headed westbound towards downtown Los Angeles, and we've seen him drive in and out of traffic like this on the freeway. Okay, uh, making these kind of moves almost as yep. if he's going to exit. Well, it looks like he is exiting yep. this time, Desmond. Uh, well, yeah, they were. So all of these uh, ramps here Getting on the 10 on. Yeah. Yeah, have, have what they call these, these collector lanes on the far right where you have the option either exit or continue. And so for whatever reason, that's what we've been seeing the, the suspect doing. Uh, there's another uh, authority who may just happen to be uh, in, in the way of all this. It might be just be totally unconnected uh, because it is CHP that is the primary uh, on this right now. It started with sheriff's deputies, handed off to CHP. Deputies still have their helicopter overhead. We haven't heard if CHP aircraft will be getting involved in this yet. Most likely at some point they come out of Fullerton. might take some time to, to scramble them uh, into the air. But uh, westbound 10, see if he's going to play this uh, right lane collector game anymore. Yeah, he's been doing that off and on yeah. since we've been watching mm -hmm. this. You know, he acts like he's going to exit and then he does and like, like he's doing right now, getting back in traffic there. Um, you know, just wondering, he's had some opportunities to actually exit to surface streets or other, um, well, freeway exchanges, but so far he seems to be committed to the 10, whether it's the eastbound mm -hmm. or the westbound. Yep, about 98% 90, of, of the time we've been on, on the freeway, just had that very brief uh, time, you know, at Walnut Grove, uh, you know, would have been a, a nice opportunity perhaps to to see a pit maneuver, but that's not likely to now that I think of it, because if, if they are, have the strong suspicion of this person having a gun, then a pit maneuver is not likely to be used if the suspect gets off the freeway. Maybe we'll have an opportunity for spike strips, but but even that when when they believe that a suspect is armed, it, it really just changes the whole equation for uh, for officers. Yeah, no doubt. And what's uh, really interesting about this case, Desmond, is the fact that uh, the LASD was originally um, after this guy for reckless driving, and it wasn't until they ran those plates, right, that they uh, figured out that this car was wanted or this, this car was wanted in an armed robbery. Yeah, so this person was just driving around with, uh, a, you know, a felony attached yeah. to their license plate, and I, I guess they didn't think that that was enough, that they were already evading authorities, and then they were out there, you know, driving apparently pretty rudely, uh, certainly enough to get the attention of sheriff's deputies because they had no one of those instances where they pull someone over or attempt to pull someone over for something, and they find out that there's, you know, something far more serious going mm -hmm. on uh, underneath that. I mean, we've had we've seen that happen so many times in the past. You think of the pursuits we've had where it's just a simple traffic violation, maybe rolling through a stop sign and then all of a sudden they're not pulling over and you know why are why are you evading police? Uh, so but now, you know, we know uh, the reason why because uh, this person is wanted for something very serious yeah. and uh, you know, they're I think they may just be trying to drag this one out. Uh, trying to enjoy a few more uh, minutes of freedom before the inevitable. Mm. And you know what? And, and, and just um, for uh, purposes or news purposes, we're not exactly sure when this felony took place. Right. Um, mm. You know, they can issue these arrest uh, uh, warrants as, well, we know, working in journalism. And at the same time, doesn't mean that they will be, if they don't answer the warrant, doesn't mean that they could be right. picked up right away. So we're really not even sure when this um, alleged armed robbery right. happened or when he became a suspect in this armed robbery. So as you were talking about, mm -hmm. Desmond, yeah, you're out driving recklessly and, um, you know, you get your plates run and here you are in another very precarious situation where nine times out of ten they are going to see this to um, fruition since it is, it, it's, it's an outstanding arrest warrant. And not exactly sure where, um, if he had